Having choices is actually a good thing. And, you know, giving riders the option to pick what brake they think is gonna work best for them. We believe there's a lot of, a lot to be gained from a hydraulic road disc system. One of them is, is, is really the control, and the great modulation you get from the hydraulic system, and, and our system specifically. When you can give someone that kind of control, it gives them a lot of confidence. Being confident when you're descending, when you're coming to a you know, stoplight, anything, is a really good thing. Our new road hydraulic system is based on DI2. So obviously you have to start with a DI2 based system. So it's also based on our new E-tube system. The only thing you would need to replace would be our new hydraulic ST lever and the calipers. Everything else will be completely compatible. The E-tube wiring, all your, bat your battery, your junction boxes, all of those things can be used with the new system. So the calipers are very similar. Uh, it's based on the XT caliper, so they, they both have the ceramic 22 millimeter piston. Uh, where you see some differences is obviously in the lever and in the hoses. Uh, but we also use the technology that we've learned from on the rotors. So we have the new IceTech rotor as well that also comes from the mountain bike side. So having mountain bike technology isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, but what we do is we tune it so that it works best for the road. For us, the biggest reason is, you know, this is, we're still in the kind of the early stages of development. When we put a specific brand name on it, it, it kind of sets it into that position. But the product that we have here could be used uh, on a Durace bike, like we talked about. It's completely compatible. It could be used on an Altegra bike. It can be used on a 10-speed Altegra bike. So if you were to compare kind of part by part with the new Altegra, DI2, it's about, about 340 grams heavier. Um, so there is a little bit of, of a weight uh, difference between the two. But obviously, you know, you'll make up that some brake performance. But, uh, you know, like I said, it's, uh, it's in the early stages. Well, make no mistake, this is, this is our best effort right now. And like any product, you know, you can look out into the future and there will be improvements. You know, that's just, that's what we do. That's what everyone does. You know, we're going to continually look at this product. We'll, uh, you know, make improvements. But really, a lot of what we want to do is, you know, like we're saying, this is the best we have today. We've gained a lot of insight from the mountain bike side. So it's really helped us in the development on the road side and specifically on the heat management. And so one of the things with a road disc system is being able to manage the heat very well. And that's something with the technology we've developed through mountain bike, uh, we're able to separate heat management from power. And in our, all of our testing, we found that a 140 rotor in the front and a 140 rotor in the rear with our Frieza rotors and our IceTech pads is, is really all you need to manage the heat. If you want more power, that's when you decide if you're gonna use a 160 rotor in the front or even use a 160 rotor in the rear. I absolutely think that disc brakes are the future. I don't know how far in the future it's going to be you know, to that point, but I, I think not just the Durace customer is going to benefit from this technology. I think some of the biggest benefit is going to be from more average riders. If you can feel confident in your braking, it's going to make their riding experience so much better. I think it's mixed. And, and I, I, I get the same response from a lot of enthusiast riders too. Some think it's going to improve their riding. Others think uh, they don't need it. You know, they feel like they can, they can handle, with the brakes we have, we already have great rim brakes that, you know, they don't need any more braking. You know, they're trying to use as little as possible to go faster, but um, it's really mixed, yeah.